Hi guys, it's Dave Webster, and here's the beautiful piano. Um, it's been through about nine tunings. Um, it should hold pretty well for the move. I'd still have it tuned, probably get it settled for a week or so and tune it again. Um, but. Uh Beautiful piano. It's just a little bit out of tune yet. Just, a, just over a couple days, it, it uh, continues to stretch strings and all of that. And once you move it into its set, settled location, um, strings should be stretched out by the time it gets there pretty well. So, um, piano is looking beautiful. Um, it's as good as you can get for lacquer um, versus polyester. Polyester, you know, you send to Europe typically. The lacquer. Um, the reason the surfaces are the way they are, anything that we were able to lay flat and spray on the top is always your smoothest surfaces. Your surfaces like the underside of this where the piano can't be flipped up on that end to spray it down on it, um, you end up with a little bit of roughness to it and that's normal and typical, but this is usually open. Your fallboard has been laid flat to spray smooth. Um, all your top surfaces are smooth. Your side, side surfaces are, are nice but they're on their side when we spray them, so they're not quite as perfect as a top surface would be. But that's um, high gloss lacquer, as good as it gets. And uh, typically the final coat is what determines what you get. And this has about 15 final coats to where we took the best one and, and went, okay, that's it. Um, so you, you, you get it on for final coat. The, the logo is beautiful. Got the Steinway logo there. We got the Steinway logo on the soundboard. New Steinway logo there. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful $200 Steinway soundboard decal. Where's the logo? Um, it's right here underneath the strings. Um, all the lettering has been hand painted um, and uh, hand repainted. Um, soundboard was shimmed and resurfaced. The, um, all of the surfaces have between, I would say, uh, between 20 and 40 coats of finish. Um, being the difference between the, the music desk having less coats um, than some of the other parts because very thin pieces you don't want to overcoat. Um, all the brass has been polished and nickel has been polished um, on the buffing wheel and uh, for some time and it's looking really beautiful. So I'm happy this is our, our best product for this age. It's, it's wonderful. Um, you know, when you got a piano from 1896, you make it look as close to new as you possibly can. And that's where we're, um, you have the elements of old and new intermingled and, and uh, old woods and old parts and, and uh, uh, assembled on the inside. But we've got new action and new pins and strings and, and uh, new damper felts and, and old dampers. But the dampers are, um, you can't really buy new dampers. That's something, you know, that's part of the original creation. So. Um, you can make them if you have to, that's the way, just like keys, you don't replace keys, you replace key tops. Um, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful piano. Let's try putting the blinds down. I'm not happy with the glare.